basically you'll um, for the waistband you'll lay it right side together so along the short end on each side and make a loop all right so sewn it on each side now we're going to fold it in half lengthwise and make a big skinny loop and you can do this at the end if you want it doesn't really matter um the order i just do it first because otherwise i'm tempted to let it sit on my project table for uh ever and ever so if i already have these prepped it's just easier to finish things okay so to quarter it you've got um your two side seams you bring them together in the middle and mark the folds on the outside and you can clip in the on the seam too this will just help you line it up and know how much to kind of stretch it to fit the uh, bodices when you're sewing it on for the neck band you're gonna um, sew it the same way except you're folding it in half right sides together and you'll sew this short end to make a loop all right so you've got a loop that you made for the neck band you are going to fold it in half like you did the waistband um, with wrong sides together so that you're enclosing this um, seam you just sewed. And the neckband's a little bit um, thinner and maybe slippery, more slippery. Um, so I'm definitely gonna mark on the seam. Then you're gonna fold it in half um, with the seam on one side, mark the other side of the fold Okay, so I'm bringing these two marks together to mark my sides. Okay, set that aside for now. If you're doing um, cuffs for your sleeves, you'll do it the same way you just did the neckband. You'll fold it in half with right sides together. I'll show you the, the piece beforehand. So fold it in half right sides together, sew this edge, um, then you will fold it once it's sewn to make a smaller rectangle. Uh, do that for the other cuff and let's move on to the bodice. So let's start with the um, under layer. You're, if you're doing the banded version, um, this is what you'll do. If you're doing the hemmed version, you will just um, press this under the um, three quarter, quarters of an inch and hem with the stretch stitch. But if you're doing the banded version, I like to mark the center. You take your uh, underlayer band, fold it in half lengthwise, and then um, I also mark the center on that. All right, now you're gonna lay the uh, band on top of the underlayer, bring them together at the center marks you just made and then this is purposely um, shorter than the under layer because the idea is to kind of pull it together just a little so it sits flatter so you're gonna stretch this band just a little and clip it to each end Someone wants to sit with me, so we might take a break. 
as you sew, you're going to stretch the band just so it um, lays flat. And then when you're done, um, this should be pulled together just a little bit. All right, the underlayer sewn. Let's set that aside for now. Now for the front bodice to add the bands. We're gonna mark the center of this uh, curve. And this is right side up. I have to look at these bands to see which side is the right side. Okay. Um, with something like this where you can't really tell, there should be teeny ribs on the right side. I don't know if you can see that. But if, if it's, you know, so similar, it's really not a big deal if you do wrong sides. But anyway. Okay, so you will take your um, side access band and fold it lengthwise with wrong sides together. And you're going to want to find the center of that too, so you can match them up. Okay, put that on top of the front bodice. Um, all of your raw edges are pointed towards the outside. And just like on the uh, under layer, it's going to be a little shorter than the uh, main piece. And that's usually the point of bands is to kind of pull things in just slightly. And you're gonna, as you sew along the curve, you're going to stretch the band evenly between uh, your pins or clips. You can add more clips if you need them. I might add more. You don't want to uh, stretch the bodice fabric as you sew, because um, you'll get more puckering. Um, now you're going to sew them together at the shoulder seams. So you'll start with the under layer, right side ups, <laughs> right side ups, sure. Um, then the uh, front bodice, also right side up. Funny story, as I sewed this on, I realized my uh, two-year-old had turned my tension all the way up. So uh, one seam allowance is a little uh, wonky, and that's okay. That happens sometimes. You will match um, these at the uh, neck side of the shoulder seam. If you're using slippery fabric or you just um, want it to be easier to work with, I suggest basting these two layers together um, and that will also ensure that you catch all the layers when you sew the neckband on but that's kind of up to you you're gonna put the back bodice on right side down or wrong side up on top of these And so at uh, each of the shoulder seams, then we're gonna put the sleeves on. Uh, you've got your main bodice kind of opened up with right side up. You're going to sew the uh, 
kind of bell here the bell shaped curve of, on the top of the sleeve which is the arm cap uh, to this uh, arm side curve marked the center of the sleeve with a little notch you can also um, fold it in half and mark it with a pin match that up to the shoulder seam and then match up um, the outer corners and for this one you'll see the the front bodice um, doesn't play a part in this this step because you want this open so you have that side access so you don't want to accidentally sew that into your uh, um, sleeve seam then you are going to ease them together in between probably easier if you're not trying to film it and hold it kind of funny okay okay so along that curve um, repeat for the other side okay so now you have the shoulder sewn um, you're going to sew it together at the side seams and you start by folding the sleeve in half and pinning it together with the right sides together. And the pattern has little stars to mark notches on each of the layers. So the back bodice has two notches. The first is where the, um, the uh, front bodice meets and the lower notch is where the under layer meets. So you line that up. The under layer has a notch where, um, where the front bodice meets as well. And then you'll line up the notches for that. see any of that this angle is kind of awkward okay. and you'll sew along the entire side seam I'm gonna go ahead and um, get the other side ready now too So again, the back bodice has two notches, um, one for the front bodice and one for the under layer. You'll match up one at a time. The under layer has a notch for the um, front bodice. So you're going to sew 
in one continuous uh, side seam now and repeat for the other side. Woohoo! So you've got your side seams sewn. You are almost done. Let's turn this inside out. Or right side out. And we're going to quarter the neck band, um, or the neckline to sew the neck band on. So um, I do that by taking the shoulder seams and bringing them together and marking the fold in the back. This is where the, the seam of your neck band is going to go. And then the uh, fold in the front from bringing the shoulder seams together. This is where it's nice if you've basted the uh, under layer and front bodice together. But I didn't. So I'm just going to be really careful to make sure that I catch both layers um, in each step here. Okay, so you've got your center front and center back marked. Now you're going to uh, mark the sides. And so you can bring those center marks together. And it's not going to be the shoulder seams. It's going to be slightly in front of the shoulder seams. Because if you match your neck band, um, sides up to the shoulder seams, you're going to have the neck uh, bunched up too, too much in the front. So you've got your neckline quartered. Let me find my band. Okay. So this is the back seam of the neck band. You are go you're going to lay the neck band over the uh, the uh, neckline, your right side is up on that back bodice and your raw edges are all pointing in the same direction. And bring them together and replace the clip. Mama, I need you and Papa. You need me? And Emmett. You're okay. Give me just a second, Mama honey. And then, um, like I said, Bring the side one just in front of the shoulder seam where you marked it. You can add extra uh, pins or clips to the front part of the neck band because this is where you'll be sewing through four layers. You've got the neck band folded in half then your under layer and your front bodice. And you want to make sure that you catch all four as you sew it. So it takes a little extra time to add more clips or to baste it, but it's still faster than, you know, having to use your seam ripper and re-sew it if you don't gather all those. Not gather, grab all of them. So you're going to stretch the neckband just a little bit as you sew it together. All right, so we sewed the neck band on. I am loving this. Uh, you're almost done. You just need to either hem or add bands to the sleeves and the uh, bottom. And you will do that the same, pretty much the same way you just sewed the neck band on. Um, we already quartered the band. And now you can mark the center of the front and back um, by bringing the side seams together and marking the fold. then you're gonna wanna match the seams with the seams of the dress, the side seams. And I always like to um, have my seams pointing towards the back 
it's kind of your preference, but just try to be consistent. So, sorry, I didn't tell you before. So your right side's up, your band's folded in half, and all of the raw edges are pointing in the, re in the same direction. And you've got your band on top of the uh, main piece. So you're gonna sew along the raw edges, stretching the band slightly um, as you go but you want to stretch it evenly between the uh, pins. That's the whole point of quartering these uh, banded areas. <laughs> 